Hi, this is Justin Foster with your Root and River Tip of the Week. This Tip of the Week is a self-examination of what comes out of you that creates your brand, either your personal brand or if you're leading an organization, your personal brand and your organizational brand. Here's what we know, that the two things that create the outer perception of your brand are your beliefs and your behaviors. So whatever you believe is manifested in your brand as part of the experience and whatever your behaviors are as a leader and therefore the behaviors of your team or organization, they contribute to your brand's perception as well. And there's plenty of cases and points, if that's the phrase to use, in the news, um, both from a positive and negative standpoint. Uh, you can look at the damage done to United's brand, Wells Fargo, Uber, all behavior-based uh, branding problems that started with a uh, inconsistent belief system at the top. But you can also look at positive brands. You can look at the great work being done by Southwest Airlines, REI, Costco. Those brands all also are living their beliefs and their behaviors and therefore creating a brand that is consistent and growing. So how does this all happen? How do you get to that place where your behaviors and your your beliefs and your behaviors are consistently portraying what you want them to portray about your brand. And we call that being an awake leader, awake to your own value, awake to how other people see you, awake to how you treat other people, awake to trends, and on and on. And not coincidentally, we are doing a webinar on this very topic uh, on Thursday, April 27th. You can learn more about the webinar and sign up at rootandriver.com. And by being an awake leader, you're able then to understand how much authority, control, and influence you have over your brand um, when it's rooted in your beliefs and your behavior. Thanks.